welcome to today's daily podcast as we continue our study in the book of Nehemiah. Today we are in chapter 12, reading verses 44 to 47. At that time men were appointed to be in charge of the storerooms for the contributions, first fruits and tithes. From the fields around the towns they were to bring into the storerooms the portions required by the law for the priests and the Levites. For Judah was pleased with the ministering priests and Levites. They performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did also the singers and gatekeepers, according to the commands of David and his son Solomon. For long ago, in the days of David and Asper, there had been directors for the singers and for the songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. So in the days of Zerubbabel and of Nehemiah, all Israel contributed the daily portions for the singers and gatekeepers. They also set aside the portion for the other Levites, and the Levites set aside the portion for the descendants of Aaron. Well, as we look at these verses, what do they say to us, and and how can we relate them to today? Well, verse 44 talks of the responsibility, the important responsibility of those who had the administration of the storeroom. And that causes me to think about those who administer for us here and particularly within Holy Trinity. And at this point, this is just such a wonderful opportunity for me to say some important names of people who so often work, almost as it were, in that image, administering in the storeroom. People like Stephen Gorton, who has worked tirelessly during lockdown to ensure that we can have our live streams and have these podcasts and so much else apart from caring for the fabric and the administration of Holy Trinity. Jonathan Stanbrook, who most of you will see playing his guitar on a Sunday, he has given hours and hours to ensuring that the, the, the presentation of the worship is beautiful for us. He works tirelessly with the team on Instagram. He's a storeroom worker. There are the PCC members and we've had some tough decisions to make in the last three or four months and of course our church wardens. There's Nikki, our financial administrator, who puts in lots of hours and it's lots of hard work. Of course there are other staff members, not forgetting our interns who have since moved on And of course, everyone who is involved in any way within an missional community or a different aspect of the church, be it food bank or triangle. These are all important responsibilities and it points to the fact that we all have an important part to play. So I want to say thank you, but especially thank you to those names I have mentioned. Well, verse 45 talks about the service of purification and I don't want us to focus on priests and Levites, because it feels like we've done that a fair bit towards the end of Nehemiah. For this, it points to the fact that the service of purification was about the removal of legal uncleanness according to the law that purified individuals so that they could resume normal life within society and especially within worship. And this points me towards the importantness of us being a holy people a people who are humble and keen to seek forgiveness. Do you remember we've used 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. For us, purification is a daily thing and this is another reminder to do that, to come before the Lord and seek forgiveness. Verse 46 talks of praise and singing and worship, but particularly the dedication of the city. And in this last month, we have been praying a lot for our city. But we mustn't stop. We need to dedicate this city to our God. Well, verse 47 could just look like a list of further provisions, but actually I think if we look deeper in this verse, it's almost a a looking back and a looking forward. 
And as we look forward, which we must do, we can go knowing that God has spoken prophetic words over our city, that we are a city of firsts, that God has spoken into the life of Holy Trinity. And of course, I believe God will have spoken into your life and where God has given you prophetic words. Then pull them out, reread them, look at them. The thing for us here is to dedicate our city, our church, ourselves to God afresh, coming in humility and seeking forgiveness, and to recognise that God's words for us, though they're not void just because of COVID-19, just because of the present situation. God's word never returns void. But the question for us as we go forward is to be asking the question, Lord, what are you saying to us? What is your call to us in this time? And for us to seek the word of the Lord. Let me pray. Lord, I want to thank you for the people I mentioned earlier, for Steve and Jonathan, the PCC, Kev and Helen, our church wardens, Nikki, for the staff team, for our interns, for those who work in Food Bank and Triangle, for those who have done things like made masks and mentored, for those who have just cared for those within their community, Lord, for every single person. Thank you, Lord, for them. And I pray you would bless them richly. But Lord, we come before you again and seek forgiveness, Lord, for ways in which we have not honoured you. And Lord, we rejoice in you, in your glory and your goodness, for you are Lord of all the earth. And so, Lord, we look to you for the future and we say, Lord, speak. Your servants are listening. In Jesus' name. Amen.